Hey, Instant Classic Reviewers, you know who I am, and you know what I'm all about. I know, I do that intro a lot, but today, it's kind of a simple kind of review. As many of you know, I've collected dozens and dozens of different types of replica championship belts, and I've reviewed them all. And I've done some thinking, and I decided that I only wanted to go with just one company. And if you saw my latest review, the classic and current three-plated Ring of Honor world title, it got me thinking. Maybe it should just be Ring of Honor. Because I always love Ring of Honor's belts and the history behind them. So I decided that's where we're going to go with my collection. And since I already have the current world title, I figured we'd just begin the collection with getting all of the versions of the Ring of Honor world title. And the one we're reviewing today, hmm, why have you reaching for the sky, boy? Hey guys, welcome back. If you were paying attention to the intro, you probably know which version of the Ring of Honor World Championship that we are going to be reviewing today. But let me give you just a tad bit of history. It all surrounds Jay Briscoe beating Kevin Steen for the ROH World Championship. Jay Briscoe would end the tremendous reign of Kevin Steen and would go on to have a few title defenses before he was injured by the group scum. Being forced to vacate his title without being beat, Jay Briscoe would enter into a storyline saying that he was the real Ring of Honor World Champion. He would eventually lose to Adam Cole in the future, but to further his claim and to add some great detail into the storyline, Jay Briscoe would create his own custom world championship so in today's review we're going to be reviewing the ring of honor world title the jay briscoe custom now i got this beautiful replica here through frank paul frank paul is a great guy you can actually find him on ebay um, I will have his uh, user name in the description below. So that way you guys can find him on eBay. He has a lot of great replica belts for sale. One of the most trusted guys in the hobby. I got this on a trade for him for the AEW replica that I reviewed not too long ago. And if you haven't seen that review, stop watching this, go see that review, and you tell me if he's going to like it or not. But this is the second of two versions of the Ring of Honor World Championship that I now have. I now need at least four more. Believe it or not, there are... Actually, there are three other designs. Oh, no, four. Correct, four. Four other designs I have left. There was one that was briefly used in 2004. You have the one that was debuted by Kevin Steen versus his match against El Generico, a.k.a. Sami Zayn. Last held by Cody Rhodes. Then we have the version that was debuted by Cody Rhodes and was the current Ring of Honor world title until Jonathan Gresham re-brought back the classic design that's used today. But, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and review this championship. First of all, the leather is very, very floppy. This is made by a seaf. Let's go ahead and look at the tip. We have a full tip here. Nothing but the tip. Some scuffs from the shipping. 
we got this nice detailed camouflage strap that fits the persona of Jay Brusco. I'm going to get into the plates design here because some of you are going to look at these plates and say, wait a minute, that looks familiar. I'll go into detail here in a second. We have the 2x5 snap box on this side. Nicely tooled right there. You can see. You can see the clamshell tooling around the plates. Only around the plates. Alright. Now the plate design looks absolutely familiar and it should because it is based off the 91-94 WCW world title. Don't believe me? Go back at my review and you'll see the comparison. We'll start with the first side plate. It has world champion icon. Now here is where I notice that there is a little bit of mistake. Storyline wise, this title after Adam Cole beat Jay Briscoe was given to Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy put his face in the middle and at the time Matt Hardy was going as iconic Matt Hardy and would put icon on the outer side plates. On the actual belt it says man up. It doesn't say icon. I did research to actually realize that so that's the only mistake that's on this belt believe it or not so I, I find that pretty um, interesting we have our second side plate with the ring of honor logo world champion we have this uh, main plate right here at the top you have the ring of honor logo world champion you have Jay Briscoe, you have flags on each side, the American and Confederate flag. And then you have Jay's name there at the bottom. You kind of get like an ECW vibe with the cage background. Kind of like the uh, ECW world title kind of thing. I thought that was pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Again, we have the same ROH side plate icon here. No Box of Doom. I love no Boxes of Doom. Boxes of Doom are really, really horrible to see. Again, I'm showing you how floppy the leather is. Alright, you've got the 2x8 snap box here. We're going to go to the backing. Done in black you can see the curve and you can see some of the bolts that are covered as always about folded from the back look the front look Here's how the belt looks over the shoulder, just like this. It sits very nicely due to the slight curve that is on the championship. Very nice detail too as well, it's very nicely done. Again, you can see the curve. We'll do the good old Steven Hammer snap test. snaps up evenly and unsnaps perfectly as well all right guys overall I will give this a four out of five the only reason why it won't have five is because again it should say man up not icon on it but overall a very very 
happy with it. I absolutely love it. It is now the second ROH World title that I have in my collection. And I can't wait to get the other remaining designs. I can't wait. Stay tuned to see an up close look video of the plates and then pictures as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me here on Instant Classic Reviews. I can't wait to review another ROH World title design for you guys. It has been my pleasure as always. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, man up and reach for the sky, boy. Okay, guys. So if we can take a look right here. We're going to take an up-close look at the plate of the belt. And here is the snaps. Nice tooling right here. Even if it is stamped, it's very nice. Here's the first side plate right here. Again, very nice. Just look into the detail there of the background right here. With the cage like right here. And then the detail in the flag. The bandana. The beard. The lettering very, very nicely done. Again, you can see some of the twink on the outside of the plates. Absolutely done nicely. Alright, you can see the tip right here. Some fingerprints right there. Some scuffs. Alright, we'll flip her over. Oh, gotta be careful there, folks. Don't wanna do that. You can see some roughing right there on the on the leather. It's nice and smooth. Very nice and smooth. Very nice. Again, we'll show it to you folded. That's nice. Very nice. 